Good day. If you are selling or scrapping a Juniper switch, you probably want to know how to reset it back to factory. And fortunately, it's not that hard to do. Uh, we're going to show you how to do it with the console cable, assuming that the device is not on your network. And by the way, before you wipe it out, you might want to watch our video and read the instructions on how to upgrade it, especially if it's 2300 or 3400, because they have some quirks. Now, the first thing you want to do is connect the device, the device being your switch, to your PC or laptop. Uh, most devices no longer have serial ports, which means you're going to need a USB console cable, just like this one. Uh, this is what I'm using. You can buy them all over the place. This identical one is available, for instance, on Amazon, and that's 30 bucks Canadian. Uh, but, you know, wherever you get it, it's just fine. Once you've got it connected, you will see it appear in Device Manager. Uh, now, in my case, uh, while the drivers were available through Windows Update, I did actually have to run a Windows Update. They did not just plug and play. So, thought that it was a big deal to plug it in, plug the cable in, and then run Windows Update. Uh, in fact, I haven't even rebooted yet, and this is working. So, uh, just take note of that. Now, the interesting thing here is the COM port. You need to know what COM number we're, we're working on, what communications port. So, COM 5 is the one I'm using. Yours very well may be different. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that. Once you got your PC or laptop connected to the device, you need to have some software to talk to it through that cable. Well, easiest thing is PuTTY, and you can get PuTTY just by going to PuTTY, oops, two T's and a Y, just Google it, uh, first hit, and click download PuTTY, and instead of doing the full install, which you can do, just download the executable. It's pretty easy. All right, once you've got PuTTY downloaded, all you have to do is run it. So in my case, it's right here. Just double click on it. What we do is select serial port, and you'll remember we had to figure out what COM port to use. In my case, it was COM5, which again, I'll show you right here, COM5. Here we go. Click open. Nothing much will happen. Press the enter key a couple of times. There we go. I've already logged in, I see. So let me just log out of that. There we go. So if, if you haven't already logged in, log in now as root. There we go. All right, for most Juniper equipment, uh, the reset command is request system zero eyes. So let's just type that. There we go. And press enter. Oh, have to be in the CLI. So command line interface. That's right, so just type CLI, press enter, and do it again. Request, you can tab complete this. So you have to type the whole thing. There we go. And press enter. And this will reset it back to factory. And warning. Oh my goodness, we're going to toast it. Yep, it's just what I want to do. And let's just let it run through. We'll speed this up so you don't have to wait and take up your time. All right, so it's done. Now, you might ask, Geez, man, I don't have the documentation anymore. I don't remember the default passwords and stuff. Not very hard. It is just root and no password. So root, there we go. Now you might ask, what exactly did the request system zero eyes do? And pretty straightforward, really. It, it, it just wiped it out is the simple version. But what it actually did is reset all of the logs and all of the configuration. Look, if you found this video useful, please click like. It really helps with the Google algorithm. Subscribes also super appreciated. Uh, beyond that, if you have any questions, just put your uh, uh, questions in the comment section below, or you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye bye.